I prefer that the so-called tramp art, uh, if, if the old pieces that were made back in the day and people want to call it tramp art, that's pretty much uh, okay with me. But the work I'm doing in the spirit of tramp art, uh, I like to call it uh, multi-layered or laminated facet work. Because really what you're doing is you're faceting the wood, you're laminating it piece by piece, layer by layer to create these kind of topographic art forms. And if you push the envelope far enough, it can become not such a geometric art form. And so that's why I like to call it facet work. And, and that's why I think it should be called facet work. Although there might be a better name for it. It is very whimsical. It's, uh, whimsy is something that can be expanded upon in many, many ways. Uh, whimsy is sort of one of those things where uh, you don't want it to look too expensive. You want it to maintain the idea of simplicity in the design, but you want to make it where it's fun to look at. It makes you happy to look at it. You know, it just catches your eye, catches the moment, and it's like, wow, look at that. I wouldn't have never expected to see that. You know, and it kind of takes you by surprise. Completely different and completely unexpected. There's a way to sort of push the boundaries of almost any art form. Well, I put my own spin on tramp art by uh, allowing it to grow beyond its boundaries. Most of it, when it was originally done, was centered around the shape. If it was a box, a square, rectangle, what have you, then it was adorned with pieces that fit within that shape. Where I like to take and grow that shape beyond just being a simple square, rectangular circle and add appendages and try to make it more organic and three-dimensional and much like a, a plant in a garden because I'm inspired by gardening quite a bit and that's what I like to do with it. I try to put everything in a current perspective uh, taken from a type of art form that was basically considered an antique. So it's interesting the way that the original tramp art was done, uh, there was a lot of uh, so-called silhouette work or the suggestion of an animal, maybe a cutout shape of a lion or a cat or a dog uh, or a bird. And it would be a silhouette of that. Uh, and so I'm trying to take it to a more current way of embellishing the image to look even more so and define it more so as what it should be. If I have an animal, like a bird or a heart, I try to define it more so and give it life and more feeling than just outward shape, if you will. And so you can do much more than that with it. You can allow it to grow and bloom and have festoons and, and embellished uh, components that are, are nested and, and become very organic within the piece so it can speak to you on, on a higher level and keep the viewer uh, interested in, in looking at it uh, so they can kind of look at it and say, wow, how did they do that? How did they start questioning how, how could that be put together like that? You know, uh, I like to add little trick doors and openings and compartments in some of the pieces if I can work it in, and uh, expansion pieces where certain things can open up almost like a transformer in a way. Uh, and so those are the things that drive me and make me uh, really interested in doing these, that I can, I can create something and employ these techniques and employ these elements that really take it to another level, another place. And it's just really my own spin on it. Someone else would do something completely different, I'm sure.